Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel uh, today. Uh, I want to show you the progress on the crypto uh, crypto mining uh, phase two uh, and kind of take you through what I've done so far. I figured it was a good stopping point to show you what I've done. Um, when last you saw the place, the floor was open with the conduit coming up out of the floor, going you know under in the mechanical room. So that's all buttoned up. And you can see here, um, you know, I've got the conduit going up and we got all the wires pulled. So for the stuff not in the mechanical room, we've got four new data drops and two new PoE drops uh, going uh, pretty much to the game room. Uh, four data drops to the game room, one PoE to the game room, just because why not? And then the other PoE I coiled up and I was going to do it for another access point to serve uh, this room if we ever turn into a movie theater and that kind of thing. Uh, one problem that I had, this is always measure twice, cut once, right? I screwed up. I cut one, the PoE line going to, to the back of the TV in the game room too short. So instead of going all the way back around that wall, it stops about there in the rafters, not that you can see. So I'm going to have to splice that. I'll just crimp, uh, I'll crimp RJ45 ends on it and then use a, uh, a female with female RJ45 connector to, to do a butt joint and a butt splice to fix it. So that kind of sucks, but nah, these things happen. So always measure and always make sure you know what you're cutting. Um, and then likewise for those other cables, you saw the fiber coming up through here and I've just got the fiber cable kind of coiled, uh, you know, taped up at the wall just to keep it out of the way so I don't damage it. So what have I been doing? Uh, first, um, I went ahead and mounted the rest of the boxes for future expansion, or at least I'm going to. So I've got six boxes on the top, two boxes per uh, miner, right? So that's, you know, one, two, three. So three miners there, and then I'll have another line of six below those other boxes. They are not perfectly equidistant, etc. They fought me, and honestly, I was using kind of scraps of EMT, so I didn't really care that much about spacing to make it absolutely perfect. Um, so, but I did fix that thing that was drooping. I did bring that up to level and try to run these all level against the, the thing, um, you know, where that, where that seam is. So it ain't perfect, but it works. Uh, and this is all a learning experience for me anyway. Uh, going down, we have two more boxes. Those are for the ethernet. So I've got three cat six lines in each box. That is three quarter inch conduit EMT. I attempted to actually do a box offset bend on those and they worked out, eh, okay, you can kind of see. Eh, I put that into the category of, well, I tried. Um, again, still learning, so. Uh, so that's three quarter EMT and that goes around here, here. And then uh, I tried to do this all in one shot and it didn't work and I had to cut it off and get another stick. So I have a, I have a um, you know, connector there and then we do a three point saddle bend over this. This was the trickier part for me. Uh, the first one, I got it right, as you can see, all in one piece, and then I did a, a, a stub up 90 going up. The second one, I screwed up and actually kinked this part, screwed up. I, I pulled this 90 too close and I wasn't thinking right, so I kinked all this when I was stubbing it up. So I had to basically remake this piece and then use a coupler and then do a stub up 90 to kind of finish, to get to kind of get the look right with the parallel lines. And it's not perfect, but again, this is my first real venture of bending EMT. So um, it's not complicated, but it's not just super easy. You really gotta, you know, it takes a little finesse, takes a little practice to make sure everything lines up and stays lined up. But overall, I'm happy in it. I mean, this is a learning experience, right? This is how you learn. So your first project is gonna suck, but the more projects you do, the better you get, right? So. So we've got all the CAT6 pulled, uh, you know, much like the other color coding in the network closet, right? I chose gray uh, for the crypto. So gray is gonna, that's gonna be the crypto color and that's gonna be on its own VLAN, et cetera, et cetera. So um, six runs here, the, all this, I bought a hundred, just a single hundred foot cable of Monoprice. And then I just chopped it up into six equal pieces. And you can see that I've got more than enough length, right? Cause this is gonna, this is gonna kind of come out Right, to a patch panel, you know, somewhere right here. All right, so we got we got plenty of length. Uh, next phase uh, that I'm going to do, uh, for conduit at least, is I'm going to do the other row of six boxes there, and I'm going to run half, another half-inch EMT right into the, into the panel. I did the conduit fill calculations, and I can run 
three miners, you know, and have all the conductors into one half inch EMT, right? Because I got I got two hots uh, times three, that's six, plus one ground conductor, or yeah, yes, one equipment grounding conductor, right? Uh, that, so seven twelves in one um, half inch EMT conduit, that's perfectly cool. So by doing it this way, instead of having a bunch of lines, I save conduit and I save wire too, because I don't have to run separate, um, you know, uh, grounding conductors to each, you know, to, for each pipe, right? And yes, I could use the conduit as a grounding conductor, but I still don't like that. Screws get loose. And let's not forget who installed this, right? I mean, this is my first rodeo. So a wire, a wire nut is a much better connection than the EMT. And I'm, I'm not bidding against other contractors where not running that wire is going to make or break the bid, right? This is my own house. So I'm going to run the, the wire. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, next phase, putting those other boxes in. And then I also need to terminate all those other new, um, Ethernet drops in the game room just so they're done. All the terminations have been made in the mechanical room already. Um, and then what I will do after all this is done, I will, I'm thinking I need to get the door next. Because I need to do the floor to do the air handling and ducting. I can't do the floor until I get the door in. And because um, I got to do the door in order to do all the, the trim and the molding and the finished floor. And I, can't, and I got to do all the finished floor before I put the ducting on top. And I got to do all the ducting before I can actually close the door. And I got to do all the finished floor before I can put the network rack in to finish up all that stuff, etc. So you get you get the idea, right? So uh Sneak peek of some of that. I don't know if I've showed you, but I got the ducting at least in. So there is four pieces of that right angle. That's going to make a eight inch by 24 inch rectangular duct. And I'm going to punch a hole in it with uh, that guy and have an elbow. That's all. That's 14 inch. And then a 14 inch stick. They are going up to the exhaust fan. That's my plan. We'll see if it works. Oh, the other thing I need to do is I've got my intake... Uh, Intake grill there. I need to install that into the wall. So that's still to do. Uh, I got the switch in uh, to feed this thing. Got a great deal on Facebook Marketplace, uh, especially because you can't find switches now. So I got Ubiquity uh, Gen One PoE 16 port. Um, I want. I don't need a PoE for the miners, but this switch will also serve any other future needs right in this upstairs. And I know I will want PoE, especially in the movie room, whatever. And I don't need that many connections. And so 16 will be plenty. So, and the price is right. And that's really about the smallest I could get the rack mount without going really expensive. Like like one of the little eight ports, but then you need a custom adapter. And by the time you do all that, you might as well just buy the 16 port. So, and I can always use it in other projects if I need it to uh, later, right? So, that's a lot of talking. I think that's it. Um, so it's really hot in here because of that miner <laughs> it makes it, I don't turn the thing off when I work because I like money. So I'm, I'm sweating, but I turned it off for you guys, right? Because that and filming is not good. So I'm going to turn the video off so I can turn that thing back off to get making more money and uh, take a break for the day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching. And hey, I am getting close to a thousand subs. So if you haven't subbed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you could sub to the channel and hopefully I'm providing value for you. Uh, and you're enjoying uh, the content. And if you have suggestions for content of what you want to see, or if you got questions, I mean, I I don't go over this a lot. Tools I use, you know, procedures I did that worked for me, didn't post questions in the comments. I'm happy to answer those and I will, I'll field them as best I can. Um, so again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.